of the cement retaining wall. It is behind the retaining wall at the time of the assassination that a mysterious looming figure appears. This man was dubbed the Black Dog Man by the House Assassinations Committee because in the films and photographs in which he appears, he can only be seen from the waist up. Because of his stance, he resembles a black dog atop the wall. In reality, he is standing behind the retaining wall. This photograph taken by Phil Willis shows the grassy knoll in the background with President Kennedy in the middle of the screen. At the end of the retaining wall on the left is the dark figure of the Black Dog Man. Zooming in closer, we see the Black Dog Man in greater detail. Although the picture is blurred, you can still see some of the skin tone of the face of the Black Dog Man. He was wearing a dark brown raincoat. This similar photograph taken by Hugh Betzner also shows the Black Dog Man at the end of the retaining wall. Zooming in, we see more detail. He's looking directly toward the president. Pruder panned down Elm Street following the course of the limousine with his 8mm camera. Five and one half seconds after the headshot, a pyracantha tree just a few feet in front of him partially blocks the lower half of the film frame. 54 feet away and through the tree, Mr. Zapruder photographed the rear of the black dog man's head. The top of the black dog man's head appears at the lower edge of the film for several frames, the clearest of which is number 413. It appears as if he is wearing a hat or a helmet, but the white areas that create the illusion are the reflection of light on the leaves of the pyracantha tree between the Zapruder camera and the black dog man. This photograph taken just after the first shot has an arrow pointing to President Kennedy. On the right is Abraham Zapruder and his secretary, Marilyn Sitzman. Over the road sign is the top of the pyracantha tree directly in front of Mr. Zapruder. These are the leaves of the tree. It is through these leaves that we view the black dog man. The black dog man is not in the tree, but more than 50 feet beyond the tree at the end of the retaining wall. By enlarging this area to full frame, we can observe the back of the head. The skin tone of his right ear is unmistakable. The skin tone on the left side of the black dog man's neck, just under one of the leaves, is seen at the bottom frame line. These two white blobs are the sunlight reflected into the camera off the surface of the leaves on the pyracantha tree. The former director of the Rockefeller Commission, David Bellin, has many times stated publicly that the image of the black dog man appears for only one frame in the Zapruder film. Therefore, the black dog man could not really be there. In addition to the five other confirming photographic images, he actually appears for several consecutive frames starting well before frame 413. Here he is as the car passes by. Follow him. The car is moving left to right, but the black dog man appears right to left, stationary against the foreground. Frame number 413 is by far the clearest of the frames in this section of the film because of a momentary change in Mr. Zapruder's panning rate.